أنا يعني أتمنى لو بو لو بوش يموت في النار ويعني خاطري أروح شارون وأذبحه بالمسدس وأطعنه بالسيف لأنه مثل ما هو يسوي حد المسلمين وحد فلسطين أقول حق بوش إنه هو خنزير وإن شاء الله يا رب يموت شكرا. That was from the new movie Obsession, Radical Islam's War Against the West. Using images from Arab TV, rarely seen here in America, the film argues that the threat of radical Islam is real and is right here at home. Joining us now is Nani Darwish, who was interviewed in the film, along with director Wayne Copping, who joins us on the phone. And Nani, let me start with you. What produces terrorism? Uh, hatred, indoctrination, and uh, repeat, repeating the, the same thing over and over again. Uh, Jews are apes and pigs. They are infidels, they are enemies of God, and that's what we grew up uh, with for many, uh, all the time. And the movie, Obsession, the movie, has uh, shown that and proved it from footage uh, from the Middle East. Right. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's truly remarkable, some of the footage you have in here. And I guess, Wayne, the question that we debate here every night is, do you, you meet that hatred with military force? Is that the way to eradicate it? Is that the best way to deal with it? You know, it's not a military struggle, it's not a political struggle, this is an ideological struggle. And it's something that when, when we talk about reform and dealing with it, it's something that, like the clip you just saw, you have to take it back right down to the children, to the toddlers. That's the level that you have to deal with it. And uh, you have to change the way these people see the world and the way they educate their kids about the world. Well, and I'm curious about Wayne, is, are you careful here to point out that Muslim itself is not a extreme radical religion? Do you carefully differentiate radical extreme Islam from mainstream Islam? Right, that's, that, that, that's actually, very, thank you for bringing that up, because, you know, radical Islam has literally taken what, uh, what, what mainstream Islam and turned it on its head and used it as a weapon. And, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't do the, the Islamic world a service, you know, what, what these people are doing. And we, hey. in the film, are very, very careful to, to hey, differentiate hey. between the two. Hey, Nani, it's Sean Hannity here. Your father had a fascinating life. He headed the Egyptian military in Gaza and the Sinai when Gaza was under Egyptian control in the uh, 50s. He was killed in 1956 in jihad against Israel. That's correct. And uh, this, the cycle of, uh, is still going on. Uh, the Fidayeen of yesterday are now becoming Hezbollah and uh, 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 all of these terror groups. And enough is enough. We moderate Arab voices, and you'll see in the movie several of us speaking against terrorism. Uh, the Ayatollahs and the sheikhs, the hateful, uh, self-anointed sheikhs, who are uh, condemning the Middle East to a permanent state of war, mm -hmm. this condition has to end. Well, I, I guess if we're going to use a, an, an analogy, Nani, uh, we looked at, for example, you could look at Hitler in his writing. You could look at Hitler in his actions. Hitler was battling against civilization. We see the exact same thing happening here. I mean, you're showing real images from real Arab television, and it is a real insider's view. You see the children, their indoctrination, their hatred of the West. It's like we are sitting, we've been lulled into a sleep when it's the rise of Nazism just before our eyes. Isn't there a similarity here? Very much so. And I'm very happy that at least the film Obsession is showing that angle because unfortunately yeah. the media doesn't get the translations of Arab television. What's happening in mosques, uh, the, the hate speech and the cursing of Jews and non-Muslims and Christians. We have to stand up to our religion and take it back from these hateful people. You know, so I w I'm glad to hear you say that because the, the people that are being killed the most, it seems, right now are Muslims, are being killed by these Islamic fascists. Uh, let, me, let me go to Wayne because I want to talk specifically about the movie. Wayne, you have image after image, example after example. It is shocking beyond belief of just how radical and how extensive and how deep this, this enemy is in this battle against the West. Why is why is everybody seem to be asleep? Why is there not a, a world call to arms against this? Well, first of all, I'm afraid to say that we haven't even shown a fraction of the footage that we actually have 
And to tell the truth, we haven't even shown the most radical of the footage because some of the stuff is, is just a little bit you too need to, but You need to show that. Why not? You know, in, in, the, in, the, in the context of the film and in the context of the thesis of the film, we, we needed to present things that, that were in line with the exact thesis of the film that we were trying to present. But still, what we show is, is astoundingly shocking, as you pointed out. And why hasn't the media, the, the most of the mainstream media, picked up on this? First of all, because uh, this information is behind this uh, Arabic language barrier. That's first of all. And second of all, I don't think they really want to look there. Because if you, if you shine a light into those dark corners, it, it may be too frightening right, Wayne, you know, we, uh, what, what you find there. We thank you very much, Wayne. Donnie, we thank you as well for coming on thank tonight. Thank you very Coming much. up, thank you.